Hello and welcome to worshiptutorials.com. My name is Brian. One of the most uh, frequently asked questions I get here on YouTube and otherwise uh, about gear is what kind of pickup do I use in my acoustic guitar? I've done a, a video like this in the past where I reviewed uh, a K&K &K Pure Western pickup and that was a pretty old video and I've changed out the pickup system that I have in this guitar since then. So this is going to be a, uh, a review and uh, my thoughts on my favorite pickup system for acoustic guitar as of now anyway, uh, the LR Bags Anthem system. Now I actually have two acoustic guitars with uh, the Anthem system in them. So I want to use both guitars so you can see how the Anthem system reacts in different guitars that sound pretty different and I'm going to mic them both with this mic which is an AKG C214. It's a great kind of all-purpose a large diaphragm condenser mic. It's the mic I typically use for acoustic guitar and so I'll record both the mic signal and the direct signal at the same time and then kind of show you an AB back to back to give you an idea of what it sounds like. The best way that you can sort of uh, get your the tone from your guitar is to put a high quality microphone in front of it and that remains the best way to this day. There really isn't in my experience a pickup system for uh, an acoustic that can accurately uh, represent the guitar as well as a great mic. So uh, in the Anthem what you have is a piezo under saddle that we'll talk about what it does in a little bit and then there's a mic that LR Bags developed that attaches underneath the bridge to the bottom of the top of the guitar the, of the soundboard and then you can blend those two together. Uh, other companies make dual pickup systems as well. K&K &K is one that I'm familiar with. They make their Pure Western pickup, which I've used before. It sounds really good. Um, sounds way better than a piezo, in my opinion. And then they also have a dual source system where you can have a microphone inside the guitar that kind of faces out and picks up you know, the sound of the strings, the sound of the guitar, and then you can blend those together. But let's talk about what you get with the Anthem system. So it consists of... Uh, several parts. There's the uh, end pin jack down here. There is the piezo that goes underneath the saddle. There's the mic that attaches under the soundboard, so the two pickup systems. And then there's the preamp and control assembly that uh, attaches up here. And then there's also a battery bag that you Velcro in somewhere in your guitar. On your control assembly, you've got a few dials and controls. You've got a uh, the first one closest to the bridge of the guitar is a blend dial. It allows you to blend uh, forward goes to the mic, backward goes to the piezo, so you can get a blend of those sounds, kind of anywhere in between. And then there's a volume. You've got a phase button, which I believe is the black button in the middle. You've got a battery check button, so you can hold it, and there are the little dots on the top is a battery indicator. And then there's like a set screw that adjusts the level of the microphone. So when you install the pickup, you'll want to set that up so it sounds best with your particular guitar. You can kind of tailor it to the voice of your guitar. You turn it all the way up, it gets really bright and picks everything up, more prone to feedback. So there's kind of a sweet spot you'll find for every guitar. So let me tell you about the two guitars I have with the Anthem installed and then we'll hear the samples. This is a Martin D35, a standard D35 from I believe 2002. So it's got a little bit of age on it at this point. It's kind of broken in a little bit. Um, I have Elixir strings on this just to kind of give you an idea of the strings and everything. 12s I believe. Um, great sounding dreadnought acoustic guitar, kind of a classic Martin sound. The other guitar I have is a Martin CEO 7. This is a sort of a double O style guitar. It's a little different because it's a slope shoulder, shoulder double O. It's kind of actually more reminiscent of like a 30s Gibson style guitar, but it does kind of have that classic Martin sound to it. So these two guitars will sound significantly different. This has Martin strings on them that I believe are a little bit older than that one. So, but you'll hear what they sound like mic'd, their sort of natural sound uh, when you hear the samples. Um, these two guitars sound a lot different. The Dreadnought's going to have a lot bigger, boomier sound, uh, more highs, more lows. This guitar, being a smaller body guitar, is going to have much more of a mid-range focus. So they sound a lot different. I thought it'd be a great way to show you this pickup system in two different guitars. Here we go.
All right, so a few final thoughts about the Anthem pickup system. I think I said earlier in the video, uh, in the title, you can read it as well. This is my favorite pickup system for acoustic guitar. It's not the cheapest system. It's a $300 pickup, and then you're gonna have to pay to have somebody install it. You can certainly spend a lot more, you can spend a lot less. Um, but I think that it's important when you find an acoustic guitar, when you're buying an acoustic guitar, especially if you're gonna buy a nice guitar, uh, I, always, I always advise people to uh, go find the guitar that you love, the way it sounds and feels and plays uh, without any kind of pickup uh, in mind. So don't even think about the pickup if you're shopping for like a nice acoustic. Go play a bunch, you know, play all the different brands that you might be interested in and find the guitar that sort of speaks to you, that you love the way it sounds and feels. And from there, uh, let's decide about the pickup. So a lot of guitars, um, especially guitars like Takamini's or Taylor's, uh, are, are sort of made to be stage guitars, so they have pickup systems built into them. I will say I've played high-end, very high-end uh, examples of all of those guitars, and I don't think any of their pickup systems sound as good as the Anthem. I've played the high-end Martin guitars, like the HD3528, uh, for example, that have the Fishman systems in them, even like the dual source Fishman, or I forget their new thing that they came out with. You have a blend of, like you can blend in the dynamics of the guitar. Um, I've played those, I don't, and I've listened to those, I've listened to samples of those. I don't think they sound as good as the Anthem system. So what I would do if it were me personally, I'd find a guitar, whether it's a Taylor or a Martin or a Gibson, whatever it is, the kind of be all end all acoustic. And then if it had a pickup system in it, personally, I would take it out and put an Anthem in it. I think they're that good. Um, and I think that it's, it's worth it in the end uh, if you play, like if you're a worship leader or playing a band or anything and you want to amplify your acoustic guitar, it's the best sounding pickup system that I have played. I'm sure there are others that compete with it well, but, um, but I love it. Now let's talk about um, kind of real world usage of it. The way I use the thing is I always have it dialed all the way toward the mic. So I just run this thing all the way up to the mic. Um, I hate the way the piezo sound. You can you heard a little bit of how that piezo sounded in those samples. I don't like it at all. Um, I think it sounds nasty and quacky and metallic like every other piezo I've ever heard in my life. So I run it all the way to the mic. The question I get asked a lot about that is do you have problems with feedback? So at my church, I play in a full band situation every week. And we run things pretty loud. Like we can run up to, you know, 95, 96 dB, sometimes over 100 dB um, when it gets really loud. And I don't experience feedback issues with it. I have, um, in certain situations, you, you will have a little bit of feedback. Typically, I run this, uh, these, either of these guitars, I usually run them through my Helix. Uh, and actually the Helix works, the Line 6 Helix works really well for acoustic guitar. Uh, I usually use compressor, I put a compressor on it and some reverb and some delay if I want that kind of thing. Um, but I run it through Helix, but it also has EQs in it. So really what you want to ha do with it is notch it out. And so for actually for each of these guitars in the rooms that I play, it's the A string that feeds back. So uh, you can notch it out uh, depending on what kind of preamp you use. Um, I've used it a lot with an a, with a LR Bags Para DI which has a notch feature in it. So I just notch the A out and it takes care of it. I don't experience feedback issues at all, even at really loud volumes. Now we do run in-ear monitors, so we don't have much stage volume. So I don't have a lot of experience like with a monitor uh, on stage, giving me a whole bunch of volume right back into the sound hole. Uh, but I, like I said, I play it in rooms where the music is pretty loud. I don't have feedback issues with it. Um, one kind of annoying thing about the uh, the Anthem is the the battery. So um, the battery actually lasts a while. Uh, in my experience, it lasts at least a month before I have to change it. Uh, the easiest way to do it, it's a nine volt battery. And in, in this guitar, I don't know if you can see it, but the battery pack is, it's, it's Velcro. Um, so there's just Velcro on the guitar and on the pack. And it's just like a little pouch that holds a nine volt. So you have to sort of either loosen the strings up a lot or take the strings off so you can get your hand in there. 
pull it out and change it. So the easiest way to do that is just to change the battery every time you change your strings. Hopefully you change your strings. If you play your guitar a lot, hopefully you change it more than once a month. I always forget about it when I change my strings. So what happens is like on a Sunday morning, uh, I'll go and I'll check. I always check the battery before because it has this little battery check. And if it's like, you know, one or two dots, I'll, I'll change it just so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I always end up, you know, I loosen all the strings up and then I get my hand in there. Uh, it's actually on this guitar, they put it, um, I didn't install either one of these, um, but whoever installed it put it up against like the, the neck joint. And that's a lot easier to get to on that guitar. It's like on the, it's on the bottom, on the back of the guitar, kind of like over here on the on the D35. So it's a little harder to get to. That's like the most annoying thing. You know, if, if like a tailor, for example, will have the battery compartment built in so you can just pop it out and change it really easily. Um, but one thing that, that makes it really nice about the, uh, the Anthem is you don't have to cut any holes in your guitar, except for if you have to enlarge the end pin to fit the... Uh, the jack, but any kind of pickup system is gonna have this larger one. So I think there's some K and K systems that have the mini jack, but you have to use like a little eighth inch plug, which I would never trust. It would, I would think it would come out too easily. So pretty much any uh, pickup system, if you put in a guitar that doesn't have one, you're gonna have to enlarge that. Um, my thought is I'm just gonna take it to somebody, take it to a professional to do it, but you don't have to cut anything in your guitar. You don't have to alter the guitar in any way. Uh, a purist might say that anytime you put something under the saddle, it's going to change the way the guitar sounds. In my experience, I can't really tell the difference. I did have the D35 with no pickup system in it for a while before I put something in, and I couldn't tell a difference personally. I'll also say this. I, uh, at my church where I lead worship, we have a very experienced um, sound engineer. He's a recording engineer as well. Uh, he runs a studio here in town, and I mean, people pay him to record their projects. And the first time I played with the Anthem in my D35, uh, after I took the K and K out and put the Anthem in, he immediately after uh, our sound check came down, he goes, what did you do to that guitar? Because it sounds completely different. And uh, he loves the thing. He said it's the best sounding uh, acoustic pickup he's ever heard. And he's heard a lot of them because he runs a lot of sound for, for big events. So um, not only do I think it's great, but uh, anyone else who really hears it um, really likes it as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.